Welcome back, everyone, to another Eat Speed podcast, the most delicious podcast in the Metroplex. I'm Bud Kennedy. And Steve Wilson. We are talking burgers today. There's a new burger in town in Tarrant County. It's come from California. I'm not talking about in and out I'm talking about that other burger that's kind of made a big splash when it landed, particularly in Arlington. It's football season, and people seem to be talking about Fat Burger, Maisha Bankhead, is the local fat burger franchisee. Welcome, Aisha. Thank you so much. Thank you both for having me. You know, fat burger is the chain that people from California know about. It's kind of the anti in and out. It has its own cult following. But uh, tell us for uh, you know for Texans who know all about Whataburger and have gotten to know in and out a little bit. Tell us all about fat burger. I, I grew up eating Fat Burger. Fat Burger started in the heart of Los Angeles, California in the 1950s by a woman named Levy Yancey. And it literally was a standalone, you walk up and ordered at the counter hamburger stand. And even today, you know, so many years later, we still keep those traditions alive. It still is a throwback to an old school hamburger stand. And so it was, it was the go-to late night spot, still is in many locations in Los Angeles. And we were honored and excited to bring the first one to the great state of Texas. Well, you have two locations in Tarrant County. You have Champions Park in Arlington, 1807 North Collins, and then you have the crossing in North Richland Hills, 6039 Precinct Line Road. Now, I was really amazed because I couldn't go to a fat burger for several weeks because the line was too long. You're drawing lines out the door for both these restaurants. I am grateful the community has received us the way they have. We opened the first location June of 2020. As you know, the, you know, the pandemic really hit around February, March, and the restaurant sat there completely done and empty for three months. And so June, we decided to take a sip of faith and open the doors. And we were amazed at the reception. And even to this day, we are just so grateful that the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex has received us so well. Uh, so uh, what's uh, different about a fat burger from, let's say, like a water burger or an In-N-Out burger? Well, I can only speak to fat burger, but I can tell you that our burgers are all made to order. Um, all of our products, say like most of our products, 99% of our, our products come in fresh. And literally, we are hand pressing burgers on the grill. We are hand slicing onions and, and dipping our onion rings one at a time by hand. We still hand scoop our ice cream for our milkshakes. It's really a throwback to an old school hamburger stand and the toppings are endless. You can have chili, grilled onions, jalapeno, bacon, onion rings. I mean, you really get to design your own burger. Well, what about that? Uh, it seems like I noticed the cheese is on the bottom of the patty. Why, why do y'all do that? <laughs> Steve, you, you, not... you're really picky about that. Yeah, I'm, I'm just curious. <laughs> I, you know, I'm big on burgers, so I just want to know, you know what I'm missing out, putting, not putting my cheese on the bottom. Well, this is my unofficial answer is because our burgers are so juicy. The cheese helps to protect the bottom bun, so the way your burger doesn't fall apart. Yeah, it's kind of like no, a that, burger that, a bun shield. Y'all thought this uh, down. Plus, we have That's seven traditional answer. toppings. Well, thank you. We have seven traditional toppings that we put in our burger, and our, our topping order does matter. We still do it the way that Levy did it in the 1950s, and so there is a specific topping that has to go on the meat, which is our mustard. Oh, your mustard. That's uh, I'm a big mustard guy, so that's great. <laughs> Steve, that, that, say, that bottom bun needs a protective shield. That's what that cheese is for. All now, that juice. <laughs> the thing you notice about Fat Burger is that it's it's all uh, uh, traditional toppings. You don't have any burgers with peanut butter or bananas <laughs> or anything like that, right? It's all. No, the part of the topping we get the most questions about is are the is the relish. Our burgers do come standard with relish. Let's see, let oh, relish see. instead of pickles or with pickles? We have pickles and relish. So it's a, it's a sweet relish and a dill pickle kind of salty sweet combination. Oh, this is very California. Now that mm -hmm. is a double double cheese, double meat. That is double our double XL. Look. So it's, it's our double large patty. Um, so we're also known for our size. Even our original burger is really hefty. It's a third pound patty. Our large burger starts at a half pound. So that double large is a pound of meat. And we have a really fun challenge called the triple XL challenge, which is three large patties, which is a pound and a half burger. And when you complete that in-house, you go on our triple X wall of fame. Yeah, I'm going to testify. This is a, go ahead, well. Steve. I thought this demonstrated the toppings real well. You can see the, uh, yes. Yeah, so you have uh, diced, uh, looks like onions and mustard, a relish, a, uh, 
lettuce, tomato, and the cheese on bottom. Yes, and mayonnaise. We do put mayonnaise. Yeah. So we, oh, our burgers mayonnaise. come with mayonnaise and mustard. Okay, and then you also have, uh, now you have a uh, Impossible Burger? Yes, yeah, so Fat Burger, Fat Brands, our parent company is one of the first, the forerunners in the Impossible Brand world. And so we do have Impossible Burgers, which is a great um, meatless option. We also right now for a limited time have Impossible Nuggets, which have been very popular. And we also even have a vegan milkshake. We have non-dairy cheese. So we really have options for those who want the burger feel without having the actual oh, Sounds very burger. California. <laughs> it's been so, I thought the same thing. It's been so popular. Texans, I've even had people ask me to do a triple X challenge with the impossible. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, I, I think this is something that people get excited about is the chance to have a burger feel and flavor with an impossible or a beyond in your case, impossible. You know that 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 doesn't that isn't beef, but really to have the plant-based shake with it, and so you can have a, a burger and and a, a fries alternative too. I believe you have, and then you have Impossible Chicken and plant-based shakes. I don't think any other burger chain has all those options. I think that you have, uh, I you know I, I think the plant-based shakes is something in particular that's really good. Yeah, gluten-free yes. too, or. We have gluten-free buns. Okay, yeah, so yeah, yeah you, you got it all covered. <laughs> we want everyone to come. And it's, so, it's just so interesting. Even with people you know, who may have lactose issues, they love the dairy-free shakes. And there are so many people who are on a meatless Monday trend. Maybe you're not pure vegan or vegetarian, but you go meat-free on Mondays. We still have an option for you. So it's been a lot Wait of fun. People, people, on meatless Monday, people go have a fat burger and the, yes, they count like that as a meatless burger. Monday? That's not a they thing in Texas. There's burger. no such thing as a meatless Monday in Texas. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I don't see that on my calendar. I think that that's Follow the hashtag Meatless Monday. You'd be surprised. Meat <laughs> no, I, I know that UT Arlington has Meatless Monday at uh, on campus. They don't serve meat on campus on Monday. Ah. I, I think the Texas legislature is going to investigate that. But I think that there, <laughs> you, there's been some, some uh, Meatless Monday over there. Uh, Steve, what do you like uh, about a big burger? You like a big burger, a wide burger? I you and I haven't talked about burgers. Which is your favorite? Uh, you know, do you I, like the big fat ones or the skinny ones? I, I like the, the the thicker patties. Uh, although I've had some thin patty ones that are good too, but you know, I'm a more of a thick patty person. You know, a good half pound or more of meat is what I like. What's your favorite burger now? Favorite burger now? Well, it's kind of uh, <clears throat> the uh, you know the, you know I'll get a like a double or triple. I put water you on burger. the spot. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I just got double or triple wire burger is what's close to me, you know, so that's kind of, I haven't been, been burger traveling that much with the pandemic, but, uh, but that's, that's the closest thing to me is that. Yeah. The, uh, of course, you know, a lot of the thicker burgers, the rodeo goat Dutch's, the, the artisan burgers have become popular. You know, the best burger, although it costs a lot of money that I love is at Grace downtown has a great, uh, burger at the bar, but, uh, you know, I think just for a, an over-the-counter fast food grill, I think Fat Burger is a great choice. I've been to the one, you know, one of them in, in L.A. and, uh, you know, thought it was really stunningly good there. And I think that Fat Burger would have taken off just like In-N-Out had it not gone through some uh, corporate upheaval. And I think now, you know, Fat Burger came to Texas like 10 years ago in San Antonio and things didn't work out. I think now it looks like Fat Burger's on the way. I think it's there is fat burgers around the world now. Is that right? There is. Yes, actually, um, the North Richland Hill store is actually a tr training store now for Fat Burger Corporate. And so we are gearing up for Fat Burger trainings from all over the world. We're excited to help. Oh, people can fly into the uh, to the North Richland Hill store from all over the world and, and come visit. What uh, what do you plan for further expansion in the Dallas Fort Worth area? Well, thanks to the to the customers that we have, we're excited about the growth. We get this question probably every day. We're still trying to, you know, weather the the lines at Arlington. <laughs> so as soon as we catch a breath, um, we will start looking for location number three. Um, so hopefully by this spring, we'll, we'll we already have our eyes and ears open, but by this spring we'll be laser focused on it. How did you become such a big deal with football fans? and football players. You mentioned a former cowboy who was in the store, you know, talk about that. And you know, that, that uh, Arlington store seems to be full of football fans. Yes. I mean, I think the, the, the proximity, first of all, I think it's just, you know, the 
Champions Park has been a great um, location for us. We have great neighbors. And so there was already a draw there. But just the fact that the burger is different, it's, it's not um, a cookie cutter option. I think in today's world where things are unfortunately kind of becoming more automated, it's still, everything is done by hand and it makes it a little bit different. Um, it's a great place. We have TVs everywhere. So people love to come and watch the game with us. Even if you're not going to the game, we do have a few beverages, uh, for those who want to partake. So it's a really fun atmosphere. And I would say too, just having a hearty meal. I mean, the size of the burgers you leave, you definitely leave full. So that's been a lot of fun, but also I would say the brand itself is just iconic. I mean, it's been featured in, in songs and in movies and so when, and, and like I think you said earlier, when you travel, people have stopped at the one in Vegas, or maybe you've gone to LA or you're from the West Coast, you already have some reference of it. Even if you haven't tried it before, you've heard about it somewhere. So I think people are just excited to say, I have finally had a fat burger and we really are building a loyal customer base. Well, it makes it a lot of fun though, was when the opposing team comes in. We've had some really fun interactions because um, we are, I am a, a Dallas Cowboys fan. You know, we, the Cowboys are America's team. Um, but I find that when the opposing team wins, they like to, to rub it in our face, even at Fat Burger. Oh, but their yes. fans come to Fat Burger and, and hold it. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, at so least they're coming to Fat Burger. You always tell the team that won. I guess it's no fun going over to Torchy's and, and fussing over there. You know, it's a lot more fun to come to Fat Burger and, and give the Cowboys fans trouble. Definitely. Steve, do you have any photos of the fries or the sides? Do you, um, you are the fries? Yeah, let's. Oh, I, I remember this lunch very well. This is my lunch. The, uh, <laughs> the, uh, and so I think this. And so as you can see I, the picture, we do have different types of sides. So those are our fat fries featured right in this center. Yeah, we need to talk like about those fry. fries. There's like two kinds fry. of fries or three kinds? We have three fries. We have a steak fry, which is what we call our fat fry. We have a skinny fry, which is equivalent to a shoestring fry. And then you see in the back next to the soda cup, we have our, our homemade hand cut onion rings. And we also have a sweet potato French fry, which is, I don't think it's pictured. So this, this is a hamburger restaurant with two sizes of burgers, plus doubles and triples, three kinds of fries, like three kinds of meats and top you have chicken or turkey or both or veggie we have turkey burgers we have crispy chicken sandwiches which is featured in the picture we have grilled chicken sandwiches and we also have a veggie burger um which is a little bit different than the impossible brand it's not so you it's can, not pure dairy I mean, so you dairy. can so you can get like a a uh a, a turkey burger stacked with an impossible burger stacked with a veggie burger and still it's all fat burger. I, I just, it is. You have a lot of different choices. And, yes, and most of and all, we have think... bacon. Bacon has been very popular in Texas. <laughs> so we have bacon, uh, you know, um, real bacon. Um, <laughs> I mean, and we get all kind of fun requests. People want their tomatoes grilled and maybe they want their onions grilled with jalapeno on the grill. I mean, we, we people have fun with it. And that's one thing that we really love. So you what's can the come and have fun and enjoy right your meal. I'm sorry? And what's the most popular burger right now here in Texas? I would say um, everyone, especially your first timers, they want to come and see how big they can go. <laughs> so a lot of people are, you know, in the large world, large, the double X, the double patty and the triple X. Mm -hmm. But one of our specialty burgers, which has been very popular, is our Western bacon burger, where it comes with two of our homemade onion rings, bacon, Swiss cheese and barbecue sauce, lettuce and tomatoes. And that we sell a lot of Western burgers. Maybe it's a a little bit of a Texan thing with the barbecue sauce. And, and so skinny fries or thick fries? What's what's selling? I, if, if you have fat burger, fat fries are the way to go. Whatever mm -hmm. says fat on it, choose that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that Western yeah. burger sounds good. So I think uh, so fat fries and a Western burger. And if I feel like I want to want to be good, I guess I could make it gluten free. <laughs> you could make it gluten free. <laughs> yeah. You and then have... we also have a skinny burger, which has no bun. Mm -hmm. And then also you can get any burger on a bed of lettuce if you want to cut them out as well. Do you have chili? We do have chili. <laughs> we have really, we have chili on the burger, chili cheese fries. I mean, again, it's a place where you really get to design a fantastic meal. You have all the old fashioned combinations of chili and relish and mustard and, and then you just have a lot of new basic ingredients like three kinds of fries 
different patties and, and a, 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 even a dairy-free shake combination. We're talking to, to uh, Maisha Bankhead. She is the local Fat Burger franchisee and, and brings Fat Burger to Arlington and Champions Park, 1807 North Collins, North Richland Hills, 6039 Precinct Line Road in the crossing. Uh, uh, Maisha, you were, you know, gosh, you were, you were waxing so poetic about the, the fries and, and the different sizes of burgers. What, uh, you know, you, you, you must see, uh, you know, large groups come in and you know, what's, I guess, I guess the question is how expensive is it and what's like the bottom line? What would be the least expensive way people are feeling a little inflation pinch? Do you have a, like a combo or a special? Uh, what's, what's a good way for people to come and not spend too much money? So we do have combos and I, you know, honestly, our burgers oftentimes are big enough to share. There's actually an option. There's a button on our POS system that says cut in half, or we will cut it in half for you and, and plate it on different trays. So our meals, I would say definitely are shareable if you, if, if, if budget is a concern, but because things are, you know, are fresh and everything, we, we get food and fresh three times a week. And so there is a little bit of a price attached to that, but I do think it's worth every penny. But for those who are budget conscious, you could definitely share a meal. Our burger, we also have a small fat, which is half of the size of an original, which is kind small of small fat. A small fat burger, which is reminiscent of a little bit bigger than a slider. I actually had a small fat at, uh, at the North Richland Hills once, and you feel a little self conscious going up saying, Let me have a small, <laughs> because it's There's a little no embarrassing. <laughs> but the small is the same size as the burgers from that other famous California hamburger <laughs> chain, the small is the same size as what you get at other places. So uh, the yeah, small, so small is a very is generous really burger. Filling. Yeah. The small is what, four ounce or six ounce? It is four ounces. Four ounce. Yeah. I mean, so the small is a quarter pound. So, you know, that, that, that's the small burger at Fat Burger. That's great. <laughs> uh, the, uh, what, uh, what did you do before you became the Fat Burger franchisee? Are you a, a career change or did you have another restaurant? I made a, a drastic career change. I was in, well, I was in sales prior to, to Fat Burger being here in, in the city of Dallas. I actually moved here from Los Angeles. I'm a, I'm a Californian born and bred, but I moved here as actually a Mary Kay independent sales director. Um, I don't know. I don't know how long I've been here now, maybe 17 years. Yeah. And Steve, and I don't, Steve and I don't know what that means. No, yes, I'm you kidding. know Mary Kay. <laughs> and so I was- I had one of pink Cadillacs. <laughs> yes, I had earned five pink Cadillacs. I was very uh, blessed in my, my Mary Kay career. And it taught me so much about people skills and customer base and building a thriving customer base. And so a lot of those skills have been transferable to the restaurant industry. But um, I felt like there was just something kind of missing. And whenever I would go back home to visit friends or family, my first stop was Fat Burger. And I thought, what? I wonder how it would do. And uh, a chain of events have occurred and I was able to meet with them and it's been amazing. But this was definitely a career change, but I'm grateful that Fat Burger Corporate has an amazing training program. And I really have become a, a, a student of the industry. I love the food service industry. Steve, you any more burger talk? Well, do you have any, it seems like our, when I saw the North Richland Hills, uh, you also have wings, right? Is that something? Yes. So we are co-branded. As you can see the logo at the top, we're co-branded with um, another fat brands company called Buffalo's Express. And so we do have wings with 12 different sausage. You can get your wings bone in or boneless. And, and actually today I was speaking with uh, my managers at both locations because we're gearing up for playoffs as well as Super Bowl. And so we're getting our wing, our wing uh, stash in place. <laughs> but we, uh, the wings have been very well received as well. But I mean, you can get I, burger and wings. Y'all serve a lot of different types of food. I mean, that's a, that's a big menu y'all have. Uh, now, can you get this stuff to go? Do y'all have like a something, you know, can we, can I order it to go or something? Yeah, there's not a drive through We should point there's that no out. There's no drive through on either of my location, there are some fat burgers with drive throughs but the, the Texas ones don't currently. But you can definitely order um, to go. You can order our website, fatburger.com. Mm -hmm. Allows you to select your location and place an order online. We can even time stamp it, what time you'll be there to pick it up. And we are on all, all the third party delivery platforms, Uber mm -hmm. Eats, DoorDash, Grubhub. Yeah, I was just so trying to figure out delivery. how to, you know, hearing about that line, I was trying to figure out how to get one without. <laughs> you know, during the week, it's, it's mellowed out a little bit. The weekends are still 
crazy we have fun and they, you know people have made friends in line i mean but in the lines will be faster we really have we're fully staffed and we have a, a great rhythm so what time um, do you open? line was faster we open at 11 a.m to 10 p.m every day for arlington okay. 11 to 10 every day so at north richland hills 11 to 9 in north richland so pick a day that people aren't out doing much and <laughs> that you can then go to north richland hills at 11 on a tuesday or something and it, you know maybe it won't be too crowded out there. So uh, you know they're both busy. I I, I just I, I I've liked Pat Burger since I had one in California, but I like the idea that it's a basic burger stand with a mustard cheeseburger like old times with relish, yes. but then you can have three kinds of fries and all these other varieties and changes and and dairy free shakes and all that too. So I love that it's a it's an old time burger stand with a lot of new choices. So uh, I think that's great. Yes. Maisha Bankhead, thank you very much for thank being our you. guest on the Eat Speed Podcast. Now, uh, until, next, until next time on the Eat Speed Podcast, I'm Bud Kennedy. And Steve Wilson. <laughs>